I just watched Wicked in theaters. Just got out of the theater about 30 minutes ago. Holy shit. That was a great movie. I loved it. I I have no no bad words. I enjoyed every single bit of it from the beginning till the end. I mean, if you if you haven't seen it or aren't planning on seeing it, you definitely need to see it, especially if you're a fan of musicals because I mean, I, everything about the movie. I loved the singing. I loved how it, especially in the beginning, literally from the start, the movie had me hooked because guess what they showed? They showed Dorothy and the crew walking down that yellow brick road. And you know what that means? There's got to be another damn movie. Yes! Dude. <sighs> there was about 30 different times in that movie where I had chills going down my arms, down my back and my neck. Because, I mean, Defying Gravity? <sighs> oh, my God. They had in, in Dina Menzel. In, uh, they had the, the original Wicked cast on, in the movie. But two of the characters. <sighs> I mean, come on. Come on. It was a beautiful movie absolutely beautiful movie there was uh, you know apart from the chills being sent down my spine because of how good the singing was you know the the, the emotional roller coaster i mean i was gonna cry you know when when uh the the professor the 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 the, the goat i forget his name you know what i mean they, they they have a whole war against animals in the movie like what is going on here i mean come on this is bullshit you know i was ready to fight for him i was ready i'm about to go in the movie and fight for them. Fight for the animals. I mean, come on. The Wicked Witch is not so wicked after all. And I understand this now. I understand now. The Wicked Witch is not so wicked after all. It's everybody else. Fuck the Wizard of Oz, bro. Fuck that wizard. I'm here for the witch. I'm here for the witch. It's exactly why I'm here. You see, I'm getting myself pumped up. I mean, this. I'm still on a high from that movie. I just, I enjoyed, I enjoyed that movie so much. I enjoyed that movie so much. I don't even know what I said about this movie. What I liked. I, I don't even. I'm probably gonna repeat myself right now. But I loved the singing. The acting was great. I loved how I loved all the music. I mean, I loved the fact that I was feeling all types of emotions during the movie. I was gonna cry and I was about to fight. But then I had a smile on my face about half the movie. <laughs> There's not much more you can ask. There's not much more you can ask for this. I mean. If I had to rate this movie on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being shit, 10 being amazing, this is a 9.3. I mean, this is a 9.3 movie. 9.3 movie. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> amazing movie. Let's go see if we can find some autograph cards to go along with this movie. Because let me tell you something. I, I need some. I need some now. I'm going to go buy a t-shirt with Wicked on. I'm going to go buy a hoodie. I'm going to go buy a matching outfit. Sweatpants and hoodie with the socks now. Wick it out. I'm wicked it out. So I did some digging and I found four people in this movie that have autograph cards. So starting off, we have Jonathan Bailey, who played Prince Fierro in the movie. He has an autograph in a Doctor Who set, which was released in 2016 by Tops. If you want a Jonathan Bailey auto, there you go. Next, we have a Michelle Yeoh autograph. She played Madame Morrible in the movie. And she has actually a couple autographs. But this one specifically was released by a... Was released by Rittenhouse in 2019 for a Star Trek set. I'm not specifically sure on which movie it is. It'll say it on the card. So if you want a Star Trek Michelle Yeoh autograph, there you go. Next, the last... I mean, the last three names on this list are heavy hitters. But... The last one, I'm very excited to show you guys. I added it to my grail list, actually. But, yeah, second to last name, we have Peter Dinklage here. Dude, I'm so excited for this last name. Dude, I got me pumped up. I want to get that card so much. We have Peter Dinklage, who played Dr. Dillamond. And he was in Game of Thrones, arguably his most notable role ever. Who played, played Tyrion Lannister. I mean, it's it's top role. Top movie movie role all time here specifically a game of thrones season for a full bleed autograph this is on my this is on my my list for my full bleed set that i need so i'll hopefully have this eventually but this last card this last card come on it's on my grail list now i didn't even know it existed until right now <laughs> we have an Adina menzel autograph and she kind of made a cameo in the movie and not a specific role i guess she was just a singer a singer in the emerald city and this specific card right here I, there's there's the only one on ebay i could see this was released in 2016 by leaf pop century but it is her in costume for wicked 
the original Broadway play. Dude, I want this card so bad. I want this card so bad. It's on my grail list now. I cannot wait. I'm, I'm going to have this card eventually. I know I will. It's just going to take me a while to get it. So, yeah, I mean, this is this is the list. All these people have autographed cards that played a role in the new Wicked movie from 2024. Again, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. It is definitely worth worth a watch. I'm actually going to go see it next week. So I'm going to see it two weeks in a row. I honestly can't wait to see it again. I mean, <laughs> amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've seen the movie. If you if you have any of these cards, would love to hear about it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned till next video. Bye.